Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 15th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to talk about the present state of Columbia's glaciers as it relates to human-caused climate change. But before I do, I'd just like to provide for you this graph which is given by the National Snow and Ice Data Center for the United States. And this graph provides a global assessment of present glacier ice loss and loss of thickness since 1960. And this is on a global scale. So on the left-hand side of the graph and indicated, I'm sorry, on the right-hand side of the graph and indicated by the brown dots are cumulative loss of thickness for glaciers moving forward in time. And we can see that cumulative loss for glaciers, cumulative average loss is considerable, averaging about eight meters for glaciers around the world. And on the left axis, you see the annual change ranging from zero, a 0 0.2 meter mass, thick, I'm sorry, thickness change per year to a minus 0 0.8 meter thickness change per year. And as you can see, there are very few years in the record in which average glacial thickness increased across the world, mainly following major vol volcanic eruptions, which pump a lot of aerosol into the upper, upper atmosphere and generate brief periods of relative cooling. But overall, mass loss has been an annual feature with mass loss rates increasing as we get closer to the present day. So overall, a very visible trend of thickness loss from glaciers over time around the world. Now this thickness loss and melt from glaciers is something that is occurring practically everywhere from Greenland to Antarctica, to great mountain glaciers around the world, from the tropics to the temperate latitudes, and on up to the near polar regions. Now, specifically for this segment, I'm going to talk about the glacier systems of Colombia. And it's rather hard to see the glaciers from the satellite shot because during many days, the mountain regions of Colombia are occluded by clouds. But this is a, a picture from February of this year of Columbia showing uh, both mountaintop cloud cover and rather wild, widespread wildfires across Columbia. And it's worth noting that the mountain glaciers in Columbia are both important sources of water for Columbia and important stabilizers for ecosystems. So if you lose the glaciers in Columbia, and unfortunately we're, we're starting to lose them at a, at a rather rapid pace, then there are multiple environmental and water security and sustainability impacts for the region. Now Columbia, again, is just one of many regions that is experiencing glacier loss, but it's likely one of the first regions that will see the complete loss of glaciers if unless fossil fuel burning ceases very rapidly and we have a very strong global response to human-caused climate change. A recent report from Columbia's Institute of Hydrology, Meteorology, and the Environment notes that during the seven-year period from 2010 to 2017, the Colum Columbia's glacier coverage has decreased from 45 square kilometers in 2010 
to 37 square kilometers in 2017. And this is a an 18% loss or nearly one-fifth loss of the total glacier co coverage in Colombia. And it's worth noting that experts from Colombia's Institute of Hydrology, Meteorology, and the Environment note that Colombia may lose all of its glacier coverage within the next 30 years. So this region could be completely devoid of glaciers due primarily to the heating of the Earth's atmosphere due to fossil fuel burning and human-caused climate change. Now, I talked about water security and environmental, environmental impacts for Colombia. It's worth noting that Colombia is one of the regions of the world that is experiencing significant hydrological stress, in part due to loss of mountain glaciers, which provide continuous melt flow during warm times to rivers and, and to hydrological systems, which help to stabilize water security for many regions. And if you're looking at the global drought monitor on the past four year time scale, we can see that many regions of Colombia are experiencing moisture losses. And this is in part due to loss of mountain glaciers. So overall, global, global glacial, glacial thickness is being reduced by human-caused climate change. And this has major impacts at a local level, particularly in places like Colombia, which unfortunate, unfortunately is looking at a 30-year horizon under present rates of human forced climate change for a complete loss of glaciers in this region. So thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.